The foreign enemies are those outside our country trying to attack us and their agent networks here. There are also these enemies within, people who assist their propaganda, the useful idiots, the fellow travelers, and the people who unwittingly carry anti-American propaganda in their own. And this can be from the left or the right. But people in this country, they don't want to hear. I'm talking about foreign enemies, and I know you guys usually hear about our domestic enemies, and we got plenty of them. We are too busy shopping and having fun in this country. We are not a vigilant society. We have not paid attention to what is patriotic and what is not. It's also unpleasant. World War III. What is unpleasant is that if what I'm saying is true, most of the people in this room will be dead. There is the work of Anatoly Galitsyn, KGB defective, who said that Russia was planning a spectacular collapse to change their system, to bring liberalism and democracy, but as a deception. Mr. Gorbachev tears down this wall. To disarm the West psychologically, militarily, and to prepare the way for a sudden turning of the tables. I believe that America, because of the unwariness in this country, is going to be attacked and overwhelmed at the outset of this war. I don't believe we're going to lose it. And that's why they use deception. That's why they turn to this strategy. They realize that they would be destroyed in a war. Because I believe that Russia is a very weak country. China is a very weak country. So they had to use proxy attack methods, deception, long-term deception. It comes from Sun Tzu. When you are strong, you appear weak. When you are weak, you want to appear strong. Hold out baits to entice the enemy, feign disorder, and then crush him. Through to the late 1990s, Russia continued to build nuclear-proof underground cities. Railroad mobile ICBMs. They have mobile ICBMs, a weapon that we don't even have. But they developed an arsenal of some 10 to 20,000 strategic nuclear weapons, 20,000 tactical nuclear weapons, which they still possess. So we are the number one target. Rogue states, the dictator states, the countries that are not free have long planned and hoped for the destruction of America. It is interesting that Russia and China have the largest merchant marines in the world. Why? Because America is a long ways away. I want to read to you from this book, Spetsnaz, The Inside Story of Soviet Special Forces by Viktor Suvorov. He was a defector from the main intelligence directorate of the Russian general staff. The Grey Terror. The Grey Terror is the beginning of World War III. In which China and Russia will destroy America. These operations and others like them are known officially in the GRU as the preparatory period and unofficially as the overture. It's a series of large and small operations, the purpose of which is to weaken the enemy's morale, create an atmosphere of general suspicion, fear, and uncertainty and divert the attention of the enemy's armies and police forces to a huge number of different targets, each of which may be the object of the next attack. The overture is carried out by agents of the secret services of the satellite country and by mercenaries recruited by intermediaries. The principal method employed at this stage is gray terror. That is a kind of terror which is not conducted in the name of the Soviet Union, the terror is carried out in the name of already existing extremist groups not connected in any way with the Soviet Union or in the name of fictitious organizations. Suvorov says that there are three stages. Gray terror, which then evolved, then into pink terror. When actual Spetsnaz commandos from Russia and most likely from China use weapons of mass destruction against American cities with the idea that the American people will believe they are being attacked by Arab terrorists. This is the most dangerous phase because once the pink terror phase begins, there's no turning back. Almost three years before 9-11.
Colonel Stanislav Lunev, who is the highest ranking defector from the main intelligence directorate of the Russian general staff. And out of the blue, he says to me, he says, if you ever hear that an American city has been attacked by a nuclear bomb set off by Arab terrorists, he says, do not believe it. Why not? Why shouldn't I believe it? And he said, because it will be my people. It will be Spetsnaz. It will be Russia. And he said, when this attack occurs, the missiles from Russia will come within days or weeks. That's the length of time of the pink terror. When that period ends, when open warfare begins, that's when the red terror begins. Final phase of World War III. But people in this country, they don't want to hear. Fold 3, detergent plus fabric softener. We've got China engaged in a military buildup. We've got Russia engaged in a military buildup. A new bloc, an anti-American bloc, is being formed in South America. And some of these people, like Hugo Chavez in Venezuela, is being financed by the Russians and the Chinese and is talking anti-American talk. Is there any alarm here? No. The country seems oblivious to it. Our whole culture, which I sometimes characterize as a shopping mall regime, it's based on comfort and hedonism. This is a natural weakness for Americans, to think everybody likes us, that we don't have enemies. I mean, that's very comforting, but we do have enemies, and not everybody likes us. The real threat to the United States is a coalition of powers organized by America's chief enemies, China and Russia. Unscheduled interruption in programming. This is not a test. NORAD early warning radars have detected multiple incoming nuclear ballistic missiles targeting military installations and major metropolitan areas along the east and west coast of the United States. This is not a test. Seek shelter now.